In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sacrament of holy unction, sacrament for the sick, dear brothers and sisters, just yesterday we had this um, very unusual sacrament in our church, and we are going to have again in two weeks, because uh, this coming Saturday is going to be confession, and then again, uh, Holy Unction, Saborovanie, please try to attend. Sooner or later, sickness comes knocking on the door of every home. This is our life. The word unction means to anoint. That's why there is another name for this holy sacrament. <coughs> Anointing with holy oil. Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters, uh, he was uh, the great physician of men's bodies and souls. We know that. Even today we heard from the Holy Gospel. The apostles too performed Christ's ministry of healing. Saint Mark tells us that they went out, apostles, right? Two by two and anointed with oil many that were sick and uh, they healed them. They were healed. St. James uh, vividly described uh, the circumstances and function of this ministry. He says, and we heard uh, yesterday from the Holy Scripture, if any sick among you, sorry, is any sick among you, yes, dick ten good by mercy of us, yes, yes, let him, let him call for the priests of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. There are a beautiful and very meaningful, meaningful prayer contained in the rite of this service. Here is the main prayer at the time of anointing. O Holy Father, Physician of soul and bodies, who did send thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal every malady and deliver from death. Heal thou also these thy servants present in the church from ills of the body and soul which do fetter him or them and quicken them by the grace of a Christ through the intercession of our most holy lady, the birth giver of God and ever, ever Virgin Mary, and of all the saints, for thou art the source of healing of our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory together with thine <coughs> only begotten Son and thy consubstantial Trinity, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Thus, dear brothers and sisters, there is in the Orthodox Church a vital way to minister
to the needs of the sick. <clears throat> it is only in recent times uh, that men of medicine have come to realize that man is a being of body and spirit and that the health or illness of one's a person profoundly affect the other. An ill spirit can make the body sick. The ill spirit can make the body sick. It seems that our blessed Lord was aware just now of this close relationship of flesh and soul in man and provided a special, a wonderful means <coughs> to keep it healthy through this, the sacrament of um, holy unction. There is nothing magical or miraculous, miraculous in this sacrament. <coughs> if it is true, as the scriptures says, then in Him, Jesus, we live. In Jesus we live and move and have our being. So it's talk of Nyom Yist, Jesus. Then, is it any wonder? that we turn to Christ in the hour of illness. Of course not. We turn to Him for His help. It would be strange otherwise not to. If we are to ask the Father for our daily bread in our Lord's prayer, daily bread, we turn to Him for the forgiveness of our sins. We and we are not to ask. Uh, uh, are we not to ask of Him for help in time or of need? То есть, наверное, тут другие просьбы, конечно, мы имеем право полное также обращаться к Богу и за помощью одарвании нам доброго здравия. In the Divine Liturgy itself, we pray for our deliverance from all tribulation and danger. And in the Great Litany, we pray for the sick and the suffering. Is there any sick among us? If so, let him call the priest of the church. <coughs> 